Okay, so let us start our discussion on Kalan Lehman spectral representation and we will continue from where we left last time. So just to remind you, we were analyzing this object Okay, and where phi could be elementary field, the field that appears in your Lagrangian, or phi could be a composite field. Okay, and we showed that. Let me go back. That this can be written as this spectral density integrated over uh, uh, spectral density times free propagators. But this time the mass that appears in the free propagator is the mu square okay and mu square is not a mass in the physical theory okay it is something which you integrate over okay so mu square takes all possible values from 0 to infinity. So this object takes this form that does not mean that you have particles of mass mu square in your theory okay that that is not something it means it just means that this quantity can be written as an integral over mu square um, of the spectral density times the Feynman propagator okay, where this propagator instead of having mass m it has mass mu square okay, that is the notation here. And you have to integrate over all of these. Let us see. Correct. Okay. Also, let me write down the definition of rho tilde of q. Rho tilde of q is this. Okay. Let me write it down. So, rho tilde of q is 2 pi cube times. You have some. You, ha you are summing here over all um, all the uh, states in the physical theory. All this by all the state means I have taken um, the states n to be the eigenstates of energy momentum uh, of uh, p mu. Okay, energy momentum vector p mu, and this is what um, delta four q minus p n times omega let us what was it phi 0 get n ok ok and we had argued that rho tilde of q is a Lorentz invariant object because this factor here, this is Lorentz invariant, okay, and this factor is Lorentz invariant. So this entire thing is Lorentz invariant, and also it is it it is non-vanishing only if q naught is positive, okay, and that is why we also wrote it as rho of q square times theta of q zero, okay. And then let us see what else. Perfect. That is all. Now we will continue from here. Now we want to, uh, you see rho tilde of q or equivalently rho of q square that takes, that gets contributions from all possible states n, all the states like single particle states, multi particle states. Okay. So, single particle state, two particle state, three particle state, okay. in general everything will contribute. So, what I want to do now is to filter out the contribution of single particle states. So, contribution of single particle states
to rho tilde of q. Okay, and these contributions I'll call as rho tilde q single particle. Okay, and similarly rho of q square I will define rho single particle uh, with this argument q square. So that's what we are looking at. Okay, so what is that object? That object is two pi cube. So that two pi cube factor here. Then summation over n, but now uh, we have to appropriately replace this sigma over n by the by the measure that you have, which we have discussed earlier, is d cube k over two pi cube. I hope that is correct. No, that is not correct. No factor of two pi cube we had just 2 omega k. You remember we had long back discussed that um, this is the appropriate measure for single particle states okay? because the n label n is not discrete it is continuous it is the single particle states have continuous momenta. So, you have an integral and this is what gave you the correctly uh, the correct measure. Okay? That is fine now I should put delta 4. So, delta 4 q minus now p n gets replaced by k okay? and then you have omega phi 0 k okay? mod square. That is fine and then other contributions uh, not to this but to rho tilde q coming from multiparticle states. Okay, this is nice. Um, this is good. Yeah. Now, what I will do is I will utilize the following result. Let me so recall. So recall that we had shown d cube k over two pi cube one over two omega k this we did in the previous course in the first course is same as d 4 k over 2 pi to the 4 times 2 pi delta plus k square minus m physical square. Okay, this is what we had done where here m physical is what appears in omega k where omega k is k square plus m p square okay, and this m p square is what is appearing here. So, in yeah and here omega k is the same object. Okay. So, this I can write as 2 pi cube times you have 1 over 2 pi cube multiplied here. So, I have another factor of 2 pi cube times d 4 k over 2 pi to the 4 okay, times 2 pi delta plus k square minus m p square okay, and then and remember delta plus delta plus uh, is this k square minus m p square is delta of k square minus m p square times theta of k 0. Okay. Let me close the window there are. Okay. So, this factor is here and then I have still a delta 4 Okay, looks like again a problem. 
let me finish this one and then I'll stop. Okay, 